Hey everyone, welcome back to Dreamcatcher's Weekly Updates. Lots of good stuff this week. I really want to first get out there. Does anyone know anyone in the Portland, Oregon area? Send your connections my way. Um, it doesn't even matter what kind of connections they are. I'm specifically looking for some school connections, some hospice connections, but really I'm interested in just meeting anyone and everyone possible so that we can get our footing in the Portland area when I go on April 15th and 16th to expand and grow some clubs in the area. So really, really cool stuff happening. Um, along with that, we had some really awesome dreams that happened recently. And if you haven't been following us on Facebook, here's a quick recap of a couple of them. Our SEC club out in Iowa granted the dream, their very first dream as a club, a dream for a man named Norbert. And he had a family farm his whole life. And so his dream was to kind of take a ride around the farm and they ended it with a whole celebration and birthday dinner with his whole family and friends. We found out that Norbert passed away the following morning so it was a really impactful dream in that way because it ended up being a celebration of his life on his last day. So Norbert's family was so appreciative of this moment and um, if you haven't seen our post on Facebook, check it out there. Along with that, our Burton Tech High School out in Inglewood, California granted their first stream this past weekend, and I was actually able to attend since it was here in LA. 102-year-old Tony wanted to go to a Clippers game, so they made this amazing experience for him, got him to the game, got him a signed hat by all their players, and got to take a picture on the court, and there were about 20 students that attended with him, so it was a really awesome day, really fun to be part of. Our Newark Memorial High School out in um, the Bay Area granted their first dream as well. So a lot of firsts this week um, for a woman who just wanted her room decorated in pink and pigs. So check it out. It was super cute and they had an amazing review from the woman's nurse after this dream happened. And so it was a really great job by these students. Our LA committee met this week and we are planning an exciting event, fundraiser and also networking event coming up here in the LA area, so stay tuned for that. That's pretty much all we have for you this week. Uh, main thing to remember, if you know anyone in Portland, please let me know. Any connections are super appreciated. And of course, follow us on all the social medias so that you can stay up to date on the dreams and you can see them right as they happen. As always, thank you for following and thank you for spreading the dream. We really appreciate your support. Support, and we will see you next week. Bye.